Hi, welcome. This is a short video of a power supply and I'm uh, going to simulate the effects that the input filter, input filter has on a switching power supply. Here I have a flyback supply. It's uh, two, two outputs. I have one at 12 volts at half an amp and then 24 volts at one amp. And uh, I am using the Basel switching model, current mode model, and uh, I am closing on the 12 volts. I have the 12 volts coming up here, and I have my sampling resistors. And then for the current sense, uh, I have this R sense resistor. I'm uh, monitoring the current through the primary, and that is sent to the PWM. So typically, I will run it. And you will see on the top plot is the voltage on both the 12 volts and the 24 volts, and it has a little bit of overshoot, uh, and that's normal. In this case, since uh, PWM does not have a soft start uh, capability, uh, on the bottom graph is the input voltage so as you can see the input voltage switches immediately to 24 volts and you can see how it ramps up so basically most designers will design a power supply and then they have to add a input filter so they can comply with EMI so let's go ahead and add that I'll add a inductor Okay, and let's just say that it's uh, 330 micro Henry's. Okay, and let's pick a capacitor. Let's pick a, let's say, uh, 4.7 micro ferret. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect that. So now I have my input filter. So this is supposed to filter out any noise, <laughs> excuse me, any noise uh, being generated uh, from the power supply. It's supposed to filter it and keep it from coming into the bus. So let's run it and see what happens. Simulation starts. Ah. As you can see, we having we have oscillations. Now, why are we having oscillations? We just connected a, an inductor and a, and a capacitor. I mean, how, why is it that it uh, upsetting the system or the power supply? I'll let it run. Okay. Okay. Well, this is a problem that was tackled by uh, Dr. Middlebrook out of uh, Caltech and uh, in this uh, paper he said that if you look at the input of the power supply V in power okay because it's a constant power uh, constant power it exhibits a uh, negative res negative resistance okay. so how is that how can it display well if your input voltage, since it's a constant power, it try, tries to keep the same power. So if your, let's say your input voltage goes up, your current actually goes down. So basically you can have a delta V input, but you're going to have a negative 
delta i. And because you have a v over uh, i, you actually have a negative resistance. Okay. So if you have a, a filter, which is just a LC, his criteria to keep it from oscillating, this Z out has to be much lower than the input impedance of the power supply. Okay. Now, in this case, I did not add this low part. I just have this part. So basically, if you were to look at the impedance in here, okay, the actual impedance, if you were to plot it, actually looks something like this. Okay. And let's say this is impedance. This frequency. Because it doesn't have any anything to damp, it has quite a bit of a high Q. Okay, so at this particular uh, high Q, that's when the impedance, basically Z out, is greater than Z in power. So what do we do to fix this? Well, what we want to do is we want to try to limit this. Okay. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and limit it by damping it, which is what this is. It's a damping. Damping. So let's go ahead and add that into the circuit and see if it fixes it. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And the rule of thumb is whatever your input filter is, you add a filter that is 10 times bigger. Okay, so we'll make this a 47. Okay. Okay, and we need a resistor. And one of the rule of thumbs that uh, I was taught by my mentor was to set the resistor value to the char characteristic impedance of the L and the C. So in this case, we get the square root of let's see, 330 micro divided by 4.7 microfarads. Okay, let's see if I get that. Looking at that in my calculator. Or plugging it. And. Getting. 8. Yeah. 8 ohms, I believe. Yeah, 8 ohms. Okay, so I'll use a 8 ohm resistor. Okay. Go ahead and hook it up. Okay. And then I'll rerun it. And I did it. So you get a little bit of ringing, but that's at least it's not oscillating. So that's a perfectly acceptable uh, uh, waveform. Uh, in the next video, I'll be going more or going through the mathematics uh, on how to damp it.
Thank you.